Bonjour YouTube, welcome back to another vlog, a beautiful review video. I know the review again on my last one which was about uh, the fight, because yeah. But first thing is obviously if you didn't watch it. So I was number two in the UFC. After he lost to um, Kevin, I'm not going to try to pronounce his surname. But the main thing about it, this whole fight, was it a fight? He lost. Whoa! Oh my gosh! But it was more about what happened after when it was like uh, he was like, like kung fu kicked your man and um, Kabe like kung fu kicked one of his team. And then his team attacked Connor, Tabu's team by the way, attacked Connor whilst he was in the ring after the fight and the whole shit. And the whole brawl started out. And yeah. Yep. That brawl. And that brawl has now led to people thinking that Khabib could get suspended, he could be title could be stripped now that he just won the lightweight championship. Could be anything everything could happen. I don't I don't know exactly. I know too much bad will happen because nothing happened to McGregor when he destroyed the bus. So, but I suppose this was actually at the live event. So as you know, it was that's the fourth loss career for Conor McGregor. Second in UFC, Khabib now goes 27 and 0. But his last fight was in April. McGregor's last fight was last year. So I'm not really surprised that Captain won. But yeah, just a lot happened. Fans were going at each other. Like what? And then obviously yeah, you had him jump over the ring, go at your man, the uh, technical director. Technical director, what am I saying? He's a trainer. Apparently that riot was more than the fight, it was just, no, it was huge, it was apparently the biggest fight in UFC history, so, yeah, I don't know exactly what happened, I haven't bothered looking into it, it's a bit sad though for Paul McGregor to lose, not really surprised though, the man was 26-0 coming into the fight, 27-0 now, but he did the usual, got him in submission, that's how McGregor really is. A bit annoying. And then he beat him with the, that fist right down onto his head. And again. And then submission. And then McGregor taps out. He all, yeah. always taps out. Yeah. Yeah. Like. Anyway, that is how we lost. So, oh, that's just a one of the Celtic. E at the exact time that I'm recording this. So. Basically, just leave a comment what you thought about the fight. Your other man was undefeated, and the last time McGregor came up for a title and an undefeated, he knocked him out within like 12 seconds. Jose Aldo. But now he wants a rematch, obviously, because that was the biggest fight in UFC history, so a rematch, it'll probably happen. Probably. Once the um, rematch, that'll be like better than this, be bigger, be more into it. But, it says here on Sports Joe that Cabby lost one of the rounds, which was the first time. Yeah, that's so him stat. He's only lost one round in his whole career, 28 fights. Yeah, I don't, I don't McGregor will take anything from that. 27 fights undefeated, having won every single round. The longest unbeaten streak in the history of MMA fighting. Or just, I think it's just MMA fighting. That's probably wrong, actually. So it's probably wrong. It's probably just UFC, you know what I mean? So, let's just look at the scoreboard real quick. Blue, pink. Yeah, tap out 303 in the fourth round, yeah. 
He did the one where you rear neck, rear, rear neck choke. Once again, submission. But that's what you say, it's just say like he lost. My video didn't work yesterday to get him to win. But mainly it's just about what happened after it. It's been horrible, the president of UFC, Dana White, said that he's disgusted, he hopes Connor's okay, he said Connor's okay, and all that, but look, that th the main thing is that three of Khabib's men who were like behind it have been arrested, they're in jail, I don't know if they've been they're in jail, but there's definitely files that have been made against them, they apparently may never get a visa to be back into the country. Don't know what that means then for, for Khabib. He's gonna have to change his whole thing around. Or he's gonna have to leave the US to train for a fight in the US. Anyway, that's really just it for this video. But Paul McGregor lost on his return. They'll probably fight again though, because it's such a big fight. And that's really just it. So leave a like, comment if you haven't. And leave a like if you think McGregor should have won, even though he didn't, because he should not have won. He lost that fight. But <laughs> it was disgraceful, tremendous. And him jumping over, going over to McGregor's team, that was horrible. He shouldn't have done that. McGregor, when he won against Alan, though, he just went on Alan. The other guy, he got a both occasions, shouted at Alan, that was it. And then, like, go over and attack him. But look, that's not the point of this. This is just a review. So, bye. Yeah, put a bit of music in. If I don't, then bye.